Forest Pack 7 includes a complete library of 89 cut hedge presets. In total 10 species are included in 5 heights ranging from 0.5 meters to 2.5 meters that are easily laid out using splines. Here's how they work. First of all, you need a path to define the shape of your hedge. You should note that Forest Pack won't actually deform the geometry, so you'll need to avoid tight corners where possible. Gentle bends like this though, they'll work fine. Next, select Forest Pack from the Create panel. Open the Library Browser and select a preset that matches the species and the height that your project requires. Click Load Selected. Change the Creation Mode to Icon and draw a Forest Pack icon somewhere in the scene. Switch to the Modify panel and then open the Distribution Rollout. Here you'll see a paths list. Any spline added here will generate a hedge. So you just click on the plus button and pick a spline from the scene. And that's it, your hedge has been created. If you hit render now, you can see how it looks. So this is great for cut hedges, but for more irregular forms, each species also has a topiary preset that can be scattered on a surface to create any shape of hedge. Several mixed topiary presets are also included for some great looking multi-species hedges. So to use these, you need a surface that defines the shape. You won't want this surface to render, so right click on it and select Object Properties. Turn off Rendering Control Renderable. These topiary presets are designed to work with real world map coordinates. So either enable this if you're using a primitive or add a UVW map modifier and use real world coordinates. Once you've got that, you can go to the Create panel and click on Forest Pack. Open the library browser and select a topiary preset. Click Load Selected. This time, make sure Forest Pack's in Generate mode. Then all you do is select a surface, and that's it. Your hedge is created. If you want to add more objects to generate the hedge, then just go to the Surfaces rollout, click the plus symbol, and then pick an extra surface. So this is one of two libraries we've added to Forest Pack 7. To learn more details about the other library for stumps, check out the linked video. In this release, we also added a selection of free samples from the 3D Garden, making the plugin even more usable straight out of the box. Forest Pack 7 is available now. Find out more about it on the i2Software website. <laughs>